It's doing something that's personally meaningful that you also feel like is contributing to the world beyond the cell. So it's doing something that feels fired up to you, but you also genuinely believe that if you achieve this goal, it's going to have a positive impact either on your family, on your community, society, your customers, whatever it is. And so that piece gets lost a lot in this world where it's all about success, 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 because it's all about you, right? And purpose is all about thinking about what problems in the world do you care about? Why do you care about those problems? And what do you want to do about it? And so if you come in with a purpose mindset, it's going to you're going to approach relationships in a very different way. So if you have people here listening today, they're obsessed with getting just being successful because they want wealth, status, prestige, and power. When they go to try to meet a mentor or meet someone to connect, it's going to be a very transactional relationship because they're just trying to figure out what can I get out of this, right? But if you actually can do the work to figure out, I genuinely want to help other people, you're going to look for people who already are already doing that, that you can learn from, or they have some resources that you could use. And so that's going to cause you to build what we call transformational relationships, where you can go in and say, hey, listen, I'm really trying to help young men 22 to 24 get the skills they need to be successful because I personally didn't have it. What advice would you give to me so I can help these people? Do you see the difference there in like how you show up to that? And it's like, uh, suddenly those people are like, what does this person want from me? What do they want? You are just looking for resources to give to other people. And that's actually what builds it. So yeah, that dynamic it, it versus the what's in it for me mindset. And what we often find when we give this advice is people don't realize how their behaviors and actions are signaling that. It's sort of their default behavior. And then they get frustrated when they feel like, well, I followed all of your steps and I'm trying to grow this network, but people don't really want to invest time or energy or effort in me. And it's like, well, what you're communicating either subconsciously with your nonverbals or your ask is exactly that. It's a me first, not a we not a grow society, grow the community, have a larger impact. It's, I need this from you. I need this skill. Tell me how you built your business. Well, why do you care so much about how I built the art of charm? Why are you trying to build something? That would be a much more helpful question for me to understand, to mentor you, than just me giving you my cookie cutter answer of, of how I built this, because it's going to be different for everyone. So I love that you brought that up, because these relationship pieces are I think the biggest regret that we have heard from our clients around their college experience. That they went through the motion, they joined Greek life, they did the extracurriculars, and then they left school and now all those people that were in their life in school, well, they went on to pursue their career, they're having wife, kids, family, and now they don't have as much time and they realize, well, man, I didn't really invest in my professors, I didn't really talk to the TA, I didn't really go to that graduate assistant, and really get a sense for how they got on this path or what they're working on and how I could support them. And it's a lot harder later in your career to start building and go back to those relationships that really college is, is the one time in your life when everyone is in that location, ready to relate and connect. Like they're all ready on that campus to make those connections if you're willing to put in a little bit of the work and have the right mindset, that transformative relationship versus the transactional. Mm -hmm.